Hey everyone, Tiffany here, and this is episode five in the Rune series. If you're just now tuning in for the first time and you haven't actually seen any of the Rune series before, you can check out the full playlist up there. The first episode being one showing you how to charge, make, and use your runes, both for divination and also for spell work. Oh, and some just day-to-day -day witchiness. And of course, that playlist will be listing every single rune definition video as they come out. Today, we're going to be covering Rado. Now, some people pronounce it Rideho, and I think it's actually more technically like Rado something like that. So whatever way you happen to pronounce it, it's fine. This is also known as the R rune, which is easy to remember because it straight up looks like an R, a little uppercase R. Rado means ride. Now that can be like the verb to ride something, to go for a ride, but it also means ride as in like, you know, my ride. But they weren't really using slang at the time, so it more means the verb to ride or the noun a ride as in a a horse-drawn cart. If we look at Anglo-Saxon, Icelandic, and Norwegian rune poems in which this rune was used, it conveys a need to act at the right time, to move at the right time, moving with a sense of purpose toward a specific goal or target, or destination, of course. Also, swift pursuit in that same vein and just in general motion. These poems really stress that life on the road is, it's pretty strenuous. It's pretty tedious compared to life lived in, you know, one place. However, you know, giving yourself some distance living out on the road grants you a particular perspective, or rather a different perspective. In Norse mythology, many of the gods used to ride in wagons or chariots that were drawn by their totem animals. And even the sun and the moon, or rather their, you know, divine counterparts, Sol and Mani, rode through the sky on horse-drawn chariots. So obviously looking at this culture, you can see that carts and wagons and chariots hold a lot more significance. They can hold deeper significance than like just something that can take you to a place. Although that is the, you know, bare bones definition of what Rado means. This rune is also connected to wheels. Wheels are round, they're circles, they symbolize cycles, constant motion and infinite loop. But let's take a step back and look at carts as just your average, you know, tangible, non-living object. On their own, carts aren't useful. They require a horse to pull them and a person to guide that horse. Otherwise, the cart's just gonna sit there. It might be used for storage, I guess, but not for its original intent. And then consider having just the person without the horse or animal who's pulling it. Well, it's still going to be motionless or vice versa. If you have it with the animal to draw it, but nobody to guide said animal, then that horse is just gonna lead that wagon to like the nearest river so they can get a drink or a field to graze and it's just not going to make it to a specific intended destination. The horse has no purpose for this cart attached to them. In addition to this, a, a cart or a chariot can carry one person or it can carry multiple people. It can be drawn by one horse or it can be drawn by multiple horses. And in these conditions, everybody has to work together. The horses need to be moving in the same direction and whoever is driving needs to be the only person guiding them. You can't have one person guiding them nor and the other person driving them west. So in connection to Rado, consider that this also stands for groups working together and working together in an organized manner. And if it's a single rider, they need to take responsibility for where they are headed. They need to take charge and guide that horse to where they want to go. Because at the end of the day, the horse and the cart are just tools that you need to use to get you going to your goal, to your destination nation, the writer has to take on some of the responsibility as well. Looking at Rado in readings, in, you know, day-to-day -day witchy use, and in spell work, overall it means travel. This is actually one of the simpler and more straightforward runes. In readings, yes, it takes a little bit more breaking down, depending on your question, your situation, and what else comes up in the reading, but overall, travel. This is a really great rune for you to stitch into your luggage. You can put it on a letter if you like, I need this letter 
letter to get to this place safely and quickly. And it's also really good for car charm bags, which I'm kind of kicking myself because I didn't include one in mine and I don't know why I didn't think to do so. In a reading, it could indicate that a journey or some sort of travel is either required or it's just on the horizon. But now, keep in mind, a journey or um, a traveling doesn't necessarily just mean like, oh, you're gonna go on vacation. Or, oh, if you want this goal to be reached, you want this problem taken care of, you're gonna have to travel somewhere to get some s done. It's not necessarily physical, literal travel. It could also mean a spiritual journey, a journey towards a goal, or it could mean journey as in there's just going to be a change or some sort of movement in your life in general. But remember what I said about the horse and the person working together, or the many horses and the many riders working together. It could also indicate organization. People working together, communicating clearly and organizing to get something done, and in order to to move forward, or an organization as in a business or an establishment. This could symbolize these things, or it could be saying that these things are needed. It could also be telling you that you need to stop and choose between two paths. You need to take everything around you into consideration in order to take the right path. And then one small little add-on, it could also mean that a message or communication is on its way to you. Because in ancient times, messengers used to write on horseback in order to deliver messages. So that's also a possibility that you can just, you know, keep in the back of your mind whenever Rado comes up in a reading. Okay, that's it on Rado. Like I said, that one's a pretty simple and straightforward one. So this was an easy week. If you missed that link to the playlist, don't worry. There's another one down below in the description box and it'll pop up probably over here at the very end of the video. The usual, you know, like and subscribe and here is the email and the Instagram. If you have any questions on trying to interpret your runes, please let me know. Comments below are always appreciated. But anywho, I will see you all on Sunday.